Hello everybody and welcome back to my vlog channel. So for today's video, I don't know if you can see, there's some food off screen. And I'm sure you've seen the thumbnail and the title. Today I'm going to be trying some TikTok viral recipes, which I have to say, one of my favourite videos to film because I get to eat stuff and if you don't already know, bloomin' love food. So, I have in front of me a little list and I'm just gonna pick some off. We're gonna go through them, we're gonna make some food and I'm gonna eat it and tell you if it's good or not and how easy it is to make. That's the plan. And I'm starting off with pancakes because I've only ever made American pancakes or British pancakes, which are more like crepes, crepes, crepes. I don't know how you say the word. Um, but apparently you can scramble pancake and make like a little scrambly mess of pancake and apparently it's blooming amazing so i'm gonna have that with a little bit of honey on top and see how well that goes now i've never used one of these pancake shaker mixes before but i've seen them multiple times and when i saw that you could make pancakes i was like do i want to make a mix or do i want to maybe purchase one of these and see how well they go i decided to purchase one so apparently you just add water shake gently loosen the mix Remove the cap, fill the line to 180. Where's the 180 line? Oh, I found the fill line. Okay, that is not obvious. Let me see if I can show you this. This is the fill line, which now that I pointed out, I'm sure seems very obvious. When I'm just looking at it, I was looking on the side of the bottle for a fill line. I mean, it's kind of up to the fill line, but as I'm filling, it's sort of soaking into the mix. And I think the fill line's slowly getting lower. I'm not too sure. I feel like I'm cocktail making again. You might not be able to see it, but my legs are doing a little dance under the table. There's a little... Oh, that hurts so bad. There's a little pouch of flour. Oh, I've got it, I've got it. I'm going to very, very quickly re-watch this video. She's just pouring it in. Okay, she did not do any oil in the pan. She just poured this in and went for it. So I'm just gonna do the same thing. Pour in some pancake mix. And then I'm just gonna, oh gosh, okay, it's already, it's already cooking. Oh, and it's sticking. <gasps> no! What a mess. One second, using spatula. Spatula seems maybe better. Hers did not stick. This is a non-stick pan, by the way, but apparently it's not as non-stick as hers. It doesn't look quite as yummy as hers did. It's not cooked in the middle. Scrambled pancake is done. It looks like this. Um, looks pretty similar to hers actually. So I'm gonna add a little bit of honey and she did have blueberries. I do not have blueberries. I really wish I had some blueberries. A little drizzle of this. Lovely, lovely. And then we get to dig in. Breakfast is served. I'm having a great time. I'm struggling to stop eating and talk to you because it's really good. <laughs> I mean, it is very much pancake mix, so it tastes like pancake. There's no difference to pancake. I think the difference is in the ease of making it. Now, I did have a little bit of trouble because the pan wanted to stick, but they still came out pretty good. I think this may have been like a pound. So a pound, shove some water in it, shove it in a pan, breakfast is served. I am not complaining. Mm -mm. I can't stop eating them. I do love me some pancake. We're going to be making pizza buns. Now, the only slight issue, just, just slight, is that in the UK we don't have biscuits in a can. Devastated, yes. I really, really want to try them. Carrie is coming over from America to see me with Alexa in a few weeks and I've asked her to bring me some biscuits in a can. I don't know if they're definitely be the ones in the can, but she's gonna bring me some biscuits and I'm so excited to try like biscuits and gravy. Never had it before. If you're someone who lives in the US, let me know your thoughts on biscuits and gravy. Never had it. To me, I feel like a biscuit is like a scone or a scone, but the only thing is I've heard a lot of people say they're not the same thing. So I'm intrigued. We don't have those. So I got some pizza dough to make this. And the other thing I don't own is a George Foreman grill, which is required for this recipe and very, very conveniently segues me in to today's sponsor, which is Cherries. We did not own a George Foreman grill. Do you know who stocks George Foreman's though? Cherries. 
I was very, very excited to find out this information. I have spoken about Cherries before. It is an online app where you can just buy all of your essential household supplies and more. For example, pastel highlighters. Yes, please. They have a whole section of back to school goodies. They have home decor, cleaning supplies, bathroom supplies, and now a George Foreman. So not only did I get a George Foreman, I also got our dishwasher pods. I got some Lenore Gold because it is my favorite. I got some dry shampoo need that now and again batteries cod liver oil tablets my conditioner carpet powder because our carpet does need a little bit of a shaken back situation but then oh also vapor rub oh one moment i do love myself a little bit of vapor rub I'm spilling it down myself the star of the show a George Foreman grill, which I am very, very excited about. I don't think in my entire life have I ever used one of these. So not only is the recipe novel, the machine is actually very novel, which is so exciting. So I got all of this and more at a ridiculously discounted price through Cherries. On the screen, I'm going to have the Cherries app so that you can get a little feel for how the app works. And honestly, you can just save a ton of money on all of your favorite household brands. And every single time you shop, you can discover something new. They have everything laid out amazingly in categories for you from cleaning supplies to homeware to George Foreman grills. As with the previous time I worked with Cherries, I have a discount code for you, which I think you would be silly not to use because it is 25% off all of the things that you're probably going to buy anyway. They're all the household goodies that you'd probably pick up when you're at the supermarket. But with my code, which is jerseybum25, you can get 25% off your first order. And if you are already a customer, then Cherries are offering free delivery using the code jazzybumfree. So if it's your first time using the app, you can get 25% off. If it's your second, third, fourth, fifth, if you use this app all the time, you can get free shipping. So I got my George Foreman. I'm going to unbox this. Take this off. Read that another time. Do we think I can work out how this works without the instructions? Maybe. Look at my George Foreman. Plug it in. It heats up. Sounds pretty easy. I'm going to give it a quick wipe down. And then we're going to make some pizza buns. So very simple. Dough, tomato, cheese slice, pesto, more dough. I am gonna be, as I said, using pizza dough, but I think it should cook reasonably similarly. I'm just wondering about the cooking situation. I'm pretty sure biscuits will cook quicker than pizza dough. In the oven, it only takes nine to 19 minutes. So I'm thinking on a hot surface, it will take even less time. So that should be good. I don't know if I've ever done this before. We have our pizza dough, and it's looking like a rather lovely little section of dough. We need tomato, cheese, and we have our pesto sauce. Now thinking this tomato may be slightly too big. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do a pretty thin slice of this, because although she did a nice thick slice, I'm just questioning the cooking of this. I'm just questioning whether this will actually get cooked in that time. And I'm thinking the thinner the slice, the better opportunity I've got for cooking. So I'm going for thin slice. George Foreman is turning on. We can only hope for the best. Drain my cheese. And I'm also going to dab a little bit of this tomato sauce off the top chopping tray. And maybe a little bit of the moisture out of the tomatoes as well. I don't want a super soggy pizza. So I'm going to take that. Why have I done two slices? I think they look even in size and similar to the size she did. This tomato is massive. How's my George Foreman doing? <gasps> it just ticked green. We're ready to go. Wait a minute, George. I am making a pizza here. One of those. Pesto. Would you say your pesto is the best dough? I don't know, but I'd say it's good o. I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna squidge the dough together so that it doesn't all come out. I don't know about this. Can you see my pizza in there? I have absolutely no idea how I'm meant to know when this is done. Like zero clue. Look at this, whoa. It's actually looking pretty good. I'm ready for some food. Oh, the next thing I'm making has the potential to go very, very wrong. But if it goes right, I'm really excited, not for the taste, but for how cute this could look. Let me know in the comments. You probably won't because this is a really weird thing to ask. Let me know your fish preferences because I like tuna if it's with mayo and sweet corn. I like cod if it's battered with chips. 
I like salmon if it's a fillet of salmon, like a normal cooked fillet of salmon, or a small amount of smoked salmon. And I like sea bass with salt, and that is it. Any other fish, not for me. Seafood isn't too bad, but any other fish, no. But those little things, and smoked salmon is the one that sort of, mm, I like it a little bit, but if I eat too much of it, I'm like, nope. <laughs> First comment, massive. <laughs> Way bigger than her one was. Huge. In my head, that's the like pizza size, but realistically, it's that massive and just in the middle there's a little piece of tomato. So that's good. I don't feel like I'm fully giving this a fair test though because she did use biscuit dough, but still, let's chop into this. I have no idea where in this the tomato is. Looks like we've got a bit of tomato, bit of cheese, bit of pesto. You know what, it's good. I will say, I don't think all of the pizza is fully cooked. My fault for using pizza dough, not biscuit dough. I've just flipped it over and this is what the underside looks like. This is like very, very thin dough, uh, the cheese, and then basically all of the pesto is up here. I think this recipe has huge potential if the biscuits in the can definitely cook so much different than pizza. I don't know, if any of you live in America and use biscuits in a can, how different is the dough to pizza dough? But I'm gonna give it a lower rating just because of the pizza dough, which I don't think is fully fair. Let me know in the comments, we're moving on, and I, I'm really crossing my fingers that this one works because honestly, there's a huge chance this is gonna go very, very wrong. We're peeling a cucumber, can do, peeling, dabbing, we're drying it, we're cream cheesing it, salmoning it, avocadoing it, and rolling it up. The rolling is, I think, going to be my downfall. And it just looks so good. It looks so good. I really, really want this to work. So, I'm gonna quickly change your battery because you are flashing. Always wash your fruit and vegetables. So far, it's looking decent. <laughs> so far, it's working. I'm getting some nice strips of, oh no, that one didn't work so well. So I'm feeling good about the strips. Now we're going to lay this on some kitchen roll and dab it down. How many slices do we think I actually need? Nice and dry. Oh, that feels lovely. That fit, never thought I'd say that about a piece of cucumber. Feels lovely. This is wonderful. I never thought I'd be so excited about cucumber but this seems to be working out for me quite nicely. Cream cheese and then salmon, or salmon and then cream cheese? Cream cheese is going on. Ah! <sighs> the, uh, I've got a box down by my legs and it touched me and it scared me. I'm gonna put this on and smush it. Ah! Oh no. Do not do this to me, cream cheese. Okay, I'm gonna do it this way because then it flows with the lines of the cucumber. <gasps> oh dear. Okay, may have fixed the cream cheese crisis. Cream cheesing is complete. Now, we're going to do a little bit of salmon. I think that's a perfect amount. I think that works perfectly. And then we're gonna hope that this avocado is ripe. Oh, hello. That makes me happy. Also, little life hack, which I'm sure you've seen at this point, but you may not have done. When you get to this bit, rather than getting a knife and like smashing it into this and twisting it or whatever, you can just do this. Okay, I've never made a hole in it before. <laughs> Normally it just pops out and I've never made a hole. Oh, it was, oh, it's slightly bruised. That wasn't my fault, it's slightly bruised, but you can just pop the pip out like that. And I thought it was really cool until I just, until that just happened. I think this avocado might be a little bit bruised, actually. We'll just take off the bruising a little bit like this. And then we want slices of avocado. So far, so good. Now it's the rolling sector of this meal and I am not excited about it in the least. I really don't think this is gonna work. I'm gonna use my knife to pick this up for me. I feel like that's quite a smart idea. And I'm just gonna I don't think that is how it's done. I'm just, I'm going with it. I'm roll, I've started now. I've started rolling. There's no stopping me. <gasps> it looks good. Wait, wait. Are you kidding me? Look at this. Just, 
Just look at that. I made that myself. I'm gonna give this a little chomp, see what this tastes like. Huge thumbs up. That was not too difficult. Looks amazing. I'm gonna make a little plate up of these. I can't believe it. I actually can't believe it. How cute are my little salmon avocado cucumber rolls? I'm so impressed. Not only with myself, but with the fact that that works, tastes good, isn't too hard to do, it's fully nutritious. I'm quite certain I'm gonna get comments saying, that's how you make cucumber sushi, like that's a normal thing. But I've, I'm not a big sushi person. I hate to break hearts. I'm not a big sushi person. Um, I don't know if that's normal, but it's blooming amazing and I'm impressed with myself that that even worked. I think that's genius. I think it's absolutely genius. I am gonna go ahead and end today's video there. Do make sure if you see anything fun or exciting on TikTok, whether that's recipes or life hacks or products you want me to test, make sure you tag me. Some of you already do and I do love scrolling through my mentions, looking at those. So make sure you do tag me if you see anything you want me to try. And other than that, oh, don't forget, I do have a link in my description to download the Cherries app. Don't forget you can use the code jazzybum25 for 25% off or if you are already a user, jazzybum free to get free shipping i will have everything in the description bar for you and yes i hope you enjoy give it a thumbs up and i will see you very very soon bye